Creating Our Planet Our Way. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 314. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 324, March 31st, 2019 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today's topic that I'd like to talk about is creating our planet our way. And by our way, I mean your way, our way, and whatever way other people would like to do it for the highest good of all life on this planet. It doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's going to be committed to that idea, but we're building open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions with the consciousness, using the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, which means we're trying to the best of our ability, we're focusing to the best of our ability to create for the best of all life on this planet. Because we think that a sustainable planet is possible. We know that a sustainable planet is possible. We know this because the knowledge already exists, the technology already exists, and it really doesn't take that large of a percentage of the population to commit to the idea of creating a sustainable world to move our entire planet to sustainability. It doesn't take that much. If we start cooperating and collaborating instead of competing, and it doesn't require all of us, if enough of us start working together towards this goal, we can create our planet our way. And so that's what this topic is about, is creating our planet our way. Like creating our planet for the people interested in a world that works for everybody, for the benefit of everybody. And a big part of that is open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing so that people that want to do it differently and aren't interested necessarily in doing it for other people that just want to do it for themselves can do that as well. And so one community is a team of all volunteers working together, cooperating and collaborating, doing our best, thinking and trying to make our decisions always for the highest good of all life on this planet and creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable living. And so this covers food, energy, housing. It also covers high good education models, high good economic models, which are for-profit and non-profit models. It, co it covers fulfilled living practices, as well as true earth stewardship, so that we can create our planet our way for the benefit of everybody. And so this is what we're committed to. And everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is our work towards this goal. And as we build one community and we build all of these villages and we launch the open source education program and we open source and free share all those details and we double check all of our specifics, we check the labor, well, we provide the labor statistics and details from everything that we're creating, we double check all of our cost analysis, we provide all of the instructions, the assembly instructions, all the details for everything that you see happening in the background here and so much more, we will create the foundation for a sustainable planet that anybody will be able to implement. And the way that we see it is that even if people implement just the individual components for their own purposes, that's a step in the right direction. That is stimulating the sustainable economy. That is moving the world towards sustainability better than most traditional methods that don't really take these things into account. So we're researching things like the most sustainable paint companies that are out there and the most sustainable adhesive companies that are out there and the most sustainable faucets and toilets and urinals. All of these things we've been working on because we're going to build ultra-sustainable living environments that see sustainability as a holistic approach to living that includes every aspect of our lifestyles. And we're opening our doors to invite people to come and visit, experience what it is that we're creating. And if people like what they see, well, they can enjoy creating our planet our way, their way, by taking those aspects and integrating it into their lives and into their homes in whatever way works best for them. And for those people that want to, that agree that creating our planet our way is the same way, 
that they would like to create our planet? Well, then there's the complete teacher demonstration model and the highest good network that we're developing so that we can work in cooperation and collaboration with other highest good organizations and open source and free sharing organizations using our plans and developing even better models and open sourcing and free sharing other iterations and variations on everything that is we're doing so that we can work together to create a world that works for everyone. And if you run the numbers, if you actually run the numbers on this idea and you assume one group of 50 people coming together and building one community, which is what we're doing. We're designing all this so that we can start construction, so that we can create this, and people can come and experience it. And the people coming and experiencing that, the people watching what it is that we're doing, if two more communities start the next year, inspired by what it is that we're doing, easier for them to start it than what than us because we've already done all the designs we'll be able to provide the labor and the cost analysis and where they can buy materials all these details if two more communities start the next year and then if us and those two stimulate four more the year after that and eight more the year after that and if that's just communities of 50 and all these numbers are offset because if the communities of 50 like our community is meant to grow to 2000 eventually with hundreds of thousands of visitors annually this is what we want to do so if two stimulates 4, and 4 stimulates 8, 8 stimulates 16, and 16 stimulates 32. And the idea can become self-replicating because we've created to be easy enough, demonstrate as affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that people will want to build this around the world. If we can do that and create a self-replicating model, we could live in a sustainable planet within 30 years. And so, yeah, one community is dedicated to creating that. This is our idea of creating our planet our way. And our way is what? It's sustainable, it's open source, it's free shared, it's a world that works for everybody, and it's a model that simultaneously addresses all the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come with a flexible open source model that gets to the foundations, the root of these problems by giving people enough of what they want, more of what they want than the way they're living right now, in a model that is sustainable, open source, free shared, and available to everyone. So this is what it is that one community is creating and everybody's invited to participate. So with that said, here is one week of our all volunteer team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal, creating our planet our way for you, your way. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued developing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, primers, stains, and sealers page. This week, we created the remaining images we need and added details for a DIY chalk-based primer, Eco's paints varnish, and real milk paint stain, all of which you can see here. The core team also created this new and more detailed property topo map graphic set to help us with permaculture design and better village and lake placement. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 41st week helping with Earthbag Village render editions. This week he finished work on the Earthbag Village master render shown here by replacing the rest of the open doors we wanted with closed ones. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 44th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was electrical wiring and mounting the electrical boxes. You can see some of this work in progress here. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 11th week as a researcher with our team. This week, she performed the second round of water-saving faucet aerator research for the most sustainable faucet options page and began writing and formatting the final content. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of 3D modeling the new duplicable city center interior design details for the library. This week, we made more updates to the decorative tree-like bookshelves and columns, updated the column locations and rearranged the furniture, replaced the stone wall shelves, and designed the table lamps that match the ones we'll actually be purchasing. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Dally Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 14th week helping with the duplicable city center interior design details. This week's focus was specific product research and cost analysis and continuing to develop the storyboards you see here. James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his 16th week researching sustainable materials. 
This week's focus was continued research for the Most Sustainable Adhesives page, writing up selective adhesive components for each different adhesive type, and featuring two new companies. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her seventh week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was updating all the window layers, fixing final conflicts from last week's dome replacement process, and updating the master file with all these changes. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan. We continued researching and revising our goat care and fencing details and found goat stalls we think will be our long-term option. We also finished note-taking on the How We Got Started With Goats video and My Livestock Mistakes They Are Gone video. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Schuber Mittal, software delivery manager, wrote the job descriptions and organized all the onboarding details needed to bring on a new six-person team to finish developing the Highest Good Network software. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 25th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was finishing the keyword research for the Most Sustainable Urinals page, updating the open source AutoCAD campaign with the help and guidance of Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, and created the Highest Good Food, True Community, and Resource-Based Economy campaigns. You can see some of this work here. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of creating our planet our way, which is really creating a planet for the highest good of all people and all life on it, for the benefit of everyone. So that said, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, you can visit our written blog, you can visit our website. There's tons of information there. We highly recommend it. Check it out. Uh, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Or if you'd like the easiest way to help out, uh, like this video. Uh, join our, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Instagram, of course, as well. Uh, so join us on social media, or just go and share our information on whatever social media platform you like the most. Getting the word out is a huge, huge assistance, and we are so grateful uh, if you're somebody that is willing to do that and would like to spread the information and what it is that we're creating as a way to support our project. And with that said, thanks. You know, thanks for watching to the end, which a lot of people don't do. Thanks for following our work. Thanks for, if you're just thinking positive thoughts of us, thanks for that. If you've donated to us, we're a 100% volunteer organization. None of us, including myself, are paid for what it is that we're doing. So supporting in that way and supporting through donations, 100% of your donation goes to supporting our open source and free shared work and creation process. None of it goes to paying our team or anybody else because we're all volunteers. So until uh, next week. We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.